Hello Unisport fam, 7MLC here and I've teamed up with Unisport to bring you weekly training and technique tips. This week we're looking at five simple drills to improve your dribbling. All you need is one of these and some of these, so let's get into it. So starting off really simple, we're gonna set up two sets of cones. If you don't have cones, you can use water bottles, rolled up socks, and we're gonna form two gates. So each gate is one step apart, and then the two gates are 10 steps from each other. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, depending on the space that you have. But all we're gonna do is start with the ball at one gate, and we're gonna work on our close control dribbling in straight lines. So all we're gonna do is start here, and we're gonna dribble across, but as you can see, I'm taking a touch of the ball with every step. So we're not hitting the ball out in front of us and chasing after it. We're trying to keep close control. So we're going to dribble up. That's one repetition. Stop the ball. Then on the way back, we're going to switch feet and go with our opposite foot. Again, one touch to the ball with every step. And what we're going to do is go 10 reps, five with our right and five with our left. Start slowly, as slow as you need to keep the ball close to your feet. Then increase the speed as you get confident with it. For the second drill, we're going to use the same two gates that we used in the first drill, but now we've just added two cones. So the two extra cones are five steps at a 45 degree angle away from your starting gate. So starting with the ball, we're going to use our right foot on the way out. We're going to use that same close control dribbling technique we used in drill one. So we're going to take a touch of the ball with every step, and once we get to this cone, we're going to use the inside of our right foot on the way up. We're going to hook the ball, get nice and low, low center of gravity so we're nice and agile and then continue our dribble. Then we're gonna use the outside of our foot to cut the second cone all the way up to the gate. And then you're gonna stop the ball. Then you're gonna use the left foot on the way back. So really try and keep close control of that ball. Take a touch of the ball with every step, making good use of the inside and outside of both feet. We're gonna go for 10 reps, five with the left, five with the right. For the third drill, we're gonna use the same two gates and now we've added five cones in the middle. So the cones in the middle are four steps away from the starting gate and each cone is placed one step apart. So this drill works on our close control and ball manipulation and there's four exercises in total we're gonna to complete that are gonna use all the different surface areas of both feet. So the first exercise, we're gonna use the inside and outside of one foot only. So we dribble out with close control, outside the foot, inside the foot, outside the foot, inside the foot, all the way up, we're gonna turn at the gate, and then we're gonna go back with our left foot. So again, outside the foot, inside the foot, all the way back to the start. The second exercise, we're gonna use the inside of both feet. So we dribble out, inside forward, inside forward, inside forward, all the way to the top. And then we're gonna turn, and then repeat on the way back. So inside forward. And then once you get back to the start, we're gonna use the inside and outside of both feet. So we dribble up, it's inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, all the way up. Repeat the same thing on the way back, inside, outside, speed up as you gain confidence with it, back to the start, and the final one is using the sole of both feet. So you roll forward, roll forward, all the way across, push forward, up to the top, then it's the same thing on the way back. So you roll forward, roll forward, speed it up as you get confident with it. And you're gonna repeat all of those exercises three times through. For the fourth drill, we're going to use four cones and I've placed them with two steps 
in between each cone all the way around. And in this drill, we're gonna work on our turns and our ball mastery. So turning on the ball sharply is a great way to lose a defender. If you're dribbling in one direction and you can turn sharply, that defender's body weight is gonna go against them and you can escape. So in this drill, what we're gonna do is work on four different types of turns and we're gonna do 10 repetitions of each one. So we're gonna work on all four sides of the square, then in between each turn, we're gonna come into the middle of the square and do 20 seconds of ball mastery. So I'll just demonstrate. The first turn we're gonna work on is just pushing the ball out of our feet, then using the inside to hook it across. Then we're gonna use the outside of the opposite foot, push it across, use the inside to turn, and then push it across. So we're gonna do 10 repetitions, five on our right, five on our left, and when we've completed those 10 reps, we come into the middle of the square and we're gonna go for 20 seconds of ball mastery. And you can freestyle this, so do whatever comes to mind. So you can do some L drags, some V cuts, whatever you want. You can just work on different kinds of movements, try and get touches with all the different surface areas of both feet. And once you've done 20 seconds, rest, get your breath back. We'll come onto the next edge of the square and we're gonna work on outside foot turns. So this time we're gonna take the ball with the inside of the foot, then with that same foot, hook it back with the outside. Then the opposite foot, inside the foot, outside. Inside the foot, outside. Inside the foot, outside. So we're gonna do 10 repetitions, five with the right, five with the left, 20 seconds of ball mastery, and you'll rest again. Then we're gonna work on sole turns. So this time we'll use the top of the foot, push it across, sole, push it across, sole, push it across, sole, push it across. So we're turning with the sole of the foot, dragging it back towards us, then the outside of the opposite foot. Once again, five repetitions with the left, five with the right, 20 seconds of ball mastery, rest for 10 to 20 seconds, and then the final turn is Cruyff turns. So we're gonna push it out, then use the inside of the foot to hook it behind the standing leg. So we hook it across, outside the foot, hook it across, outside the foot, hook it across, outside the foot, five repetitions with the left, five with the right, come in the middle, 20 seconds of ball mastery, rest for a minute, and then repeat the entire circuit three times. And for the fifth and final drill, all we're gonna do is take a handful of cones or objects and we're gonna place them down on the ground randomly. So I'm not trying to place them with any kind of accuracy or any kind of pattern. And as you'll see, because of the way I'm throwing them down randomly, I've created an obstacle course that becomes quite unpredictable. So we've got some really tight gaps over here, some wider gaps. So we're gonna work on our ball mastery dribbling using all the different surface areas of our foot, trying to dribble in and out of these cones without touching them. So you wanna use the inside of the foot, inside and outside. You can use the sole of the foot, just making sure we're trying to be nice and controlled through those areas. And what we're gonna do, go for 30 seconds without stopping and rest for 30 seconds and repeat five times. So there we have it, five simple drills that you can use to improve all areas of your dribbling. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys every week here on Unisport Web TV. So let me know down in the comment section if there's anything you want to learn and I'll see what I can do. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to Unisport by clicking the bubble up here and check out more awesome content by clicking the playlist down here. And if you want more videos from me, you can also check out my YouTube channel over here. But thanks for having me. I'm 7MLC. I'm out.